Hello, I'm Brad Werner. I'd like to show you how to create an Amazon Simple Queue service, SQS Queue, and it's a little bit more involved than the empty demo of a cloud formation stack using the Amazon Web Services Cloud Development Kit. So what we're going to focus on here is the differences between just creating a CDK app and then a queue. Just so happens though that making a message queue uh, so you can send and receive messages in your account is really pretty easy uh, with the CDK template we start with. So we're again gonna start from scratch here with a CDK, uh, but this time we're gonna have to comment uh, the SQS uh, bits uh, in that file, libqstack.ts, uh, and then deploy the app uh, and then we can send and uh, receive messages, which is why we would wanna create a queue. Let's take a look. So here I have the same instructions uh, up there, but a little bit extra. So I'm gonna copy in here is this uh, little folder we should create for a queue, and then we'll go down into that, and then do the CDK init app. And uh, you can abbreviate the double hyphen uh, language as minus L, and then Python, C sharp, F sharp, TypeScript, Java, whatever you prefer. Uh, JavaScript Go, if you want. And then this is going to install some components there. So you'll have essentially the node package modules there that can be used to do the CDK deploy. But in this case, we don't want an empty stack. So we want to do something a little bit more involved this time. Now that npm install is done, we can go and edit the file in question. So I'm just going to go and uh, look at the project structure that I have here uh, in VS Code, but you can just use VI or whatever you want. Uh, so I created this queue folder inside queue demo in the demo repo. I'm going to go into lib here and notice there is a qstack.ts uh, in here. So the qstack.ts here uh, has a few lines to it. So like the uh, empty one that I showed you earlier, we have the uh, lines commented out for SQS. So what I'm gonna do is go up here to grab this import uh, star as SQS uh, from the uh, AWS CDK lib AWS SQS right here. And then I'm gonna come down here a bit further and just uh, on comment out the, uh, I know there's a keystroke to do it, but going to do it like this, uh, where we are then going to allocate a queue there. That's it. So it's going to save that. And then uh, in here, simply go and do CDK deploy. All right. This is creating a cloud formation change set. So we've done the synthesize part, CDK synth. And then it's going to go and create the metadata and then the queue. So there, the queue is almost done creating. So then when that queue gets created, we can go and use it. So that's it to deploy a queue in SQS. The code listed up at the top there really comes in the CDK init app template, whatever language you're using. This, again, is just an example in TypeScript. So how do we use that? Well, back in the notes here, deploy the CDK app, just did that. Uh, send and receive messages uh, from uh, in, into the queue and, and then receive the messages from the queue. So here are a few steps to go and do that. I've been through these steps right here, done the deploy there. So we could do an AWS SQS list queues here, and then we could get a reference to a queue. This code right here does not search for a particular queue, but if I only have one queue in my AWS account, that'll work. In another video, I'll, I'll show you a better way to do this as a quick demo from a repo that already exists. We'll run that later. And then sending a message, receiving a message, we can go ahead and use the queue this way. So luckily, I'm going to have those steps right up here. And you can again list out queues. You can, of course, go back into the console if you want, into the database console and look at the queue. Uh, here, notice the queue URL is here. So I'm going to just put that same command, a little bit more punctuation in there. And then we can assign this variable queue. Let's take a look at what it has. So that is just the URL part right there. 
and then we could go and we could uh, receive messages. Here I have a wait time of 20 seconds in this command up here. What I'm going to do before I run that here is uh, let me just split my terminal down at the bottom here. So here I'm going to do a, a cute little command. You don't have to worry about this. Uh, this is just because in my account I'm not using uh, the account directly, but uh, I need to assume a role and an identity over here. And so what I'm going to do over on the, the right here is now uh, go ahead and do this. Oh, I better actually I got to assign that uh, same Q command variable over next over, or just over there. So I'm going to find the Q over there too. Okay, got a reference to that. And then I'm going to go and say receive message over here on the right. It's going to wait up to 20 seconds there. I'm going to just send a message from the left hand side over here. Left there, just send the message hello world. And then that will get a receipt back over there on the left. And the message body, message ID, and then over on the right, we uh, get the uh, message ID, the receipt handle here. Oops, go to the right hand panel, receipt handle, the MD5 uh, of the body, and then the body just as plain text. So there we have using the queue. So when you are done with the queue, you could go ahead and do a CDK destroy if you don't need it anymore. But if your app needs to have a queue for days, months, years, then you just keep that around. All right, that is the process of going and working with queues, creating a queue, using some scripting, and then going ahead and using it, again, using just the command line interface. But you could use that in whatever languages you want. Uh, you could uh, talk to the uh, MLNS QS API directly, Ubuntu 3 is a little library you can use with Python. There's a few links that I'll have in the description of the video that you can take a look at later. So hopefully this helped. Take care.